on one of the opportunities we saw he, he, he leant back when he could have just passed it in the back of the net. But these things happen. I think we all have such high expectations of Leeds because they play such good football and they're always trying to score. But it just wasn't their night tonight. But West Ham were up in fifth and I tipped them to get in the top four. So my tip's still on. West Ham fans are loving you right now. And actually, talking of Leeds, I mean, I think we thought with Calvin Phillips back in the side that we would see a bit more from them. That would give them the boost they needed. But it wasn't meant to be. No, I, no, I think no, I, no, 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 Steamer. Simply because I think what Calvin Phillips does is the job. What he does, he does mop up. He does get the ball to players for them to do their stuff. And as much as Leeds didn't dominate and do very well in the specs of the chances created, especially the first half, they'd done enough in the second half to get something out of the game. I think that when you look at Calvin Phillips, when he's not playing for Leeds, they do struggle. When he plays, there is a stability and a solidness that they have, what they can build on. And even though they didn't play well today, they should have scored at least two easily. Well, we'll have a look at some of those missed chances. But let's now bring you up to date with exactly what has happened at the weekend in the Premier League. Well, I think you've got to say that all the drama was saved for Sunday. Newcastle and West Brom sharing the points at the Hawthorns. Liverpool losing out to Fulham. Nobody saw that one coming. Then the Manchester derby was red. Manchester United winning 2-0, keeping that clean sheet. That was a massive win for Ole Gunnar Solskjaer's men. And then Tottenham, well, what a convincing win it was for them over Crystal Palace. A Bale brace and a Harry Kane brace. Today, there's confirmation of Chelsea's 2-0 win over Everton and West Ham match to that scoreline against Leeds United. So what does that mean for the Premier League table? So there you see Chelsea really stamping their authority on that top four place. But West Ham are hot on their heels, just two points behind them and with a game in hand. Everton failing to pick up any points against Chelsea means they drop to sixth and Liverpool down to eighth after losing out to Fulham. As for the bottom half, wow, this relegation battle is really, really very tight. You've got to say